and welcome to my video and uh, I close my early video in this step and uh, yeah this uh, it is installing this 21 XCAD package then it is verifying mm, it is related to some certificate details serial number one and subject certification um, type okay good and certification is certify until December 3 2034 one after one certificate request successfully okay yeah. this is certificate related things and um, it is starting excurt the starting excurt and uh, doing some IP table configuration and excurt is run running and it is doing some table network and set the dynamic IP address range and uh, it's known to be discover then run make DHCP to create the DHCP and this kind of stuff it's doing finally MKNP uh, x86 underscore 64 okay now we complete the installation then we'll check uh, the things about uh, XCAT UI I will install and explain it later before that uh, now we'll clone the Im now we'll create the operating system image uh, for that one uh, yeah we need to do using dd command we need to yeah that things I already created cd root rhl 6.4 is already created and the thing is we need to yeah we need to using copy cd copy cd copy cd cd rom root rhl fire this command and it will try to create the image under slash install and image name and x86 underscore 64 it will try to copy the image into the particular destination then uh, in the meantime we can do other process and uh, we will take the backup of the uh, xcut table actually xcut uh, called the configuration related to the network and uh, hardware details and their node types details and how the console is taking and IP details network details everything it will store in the table format actually normal Linux operating system the things store at configuration file dot cynf but in this case everything it will store dot csv in a table format so we need to edit for example if you are going to edit the site table it has the management node name and domain name ethernet interface so we need to edit these things uh, before so for this before doing this we'll take the backup so in any case we did anything going wrong we can easily recover the old setup okay so first we'll pack up the xcut table I'll open the another console it's already completed 99.97 percentage you can wait Point point nine seven. Okay, anyway, I'll take another. Yeah, it's completed. Copying media, media copy operating system. No, no need. Okay, now dumb excerpt. But yeah, T U M P X C A T P slash autumn uh, a P. system backup see here the log file it is not updating anything but anyway it will it is taking the backup what is this we are getting error message communication with xcut server has not been entered permanently okay we'll check about the xcut service etc uh, etc in a dirty status it is running 
then why okay we need to load the table actually this table it is I have on PDF document PDF document I have some information so just uh, I need to refer yeah the template directory we need to load here I oh sorry Connection is closed. I don't know. I hope some problem in the server. It is restarting automatically. It is loading. It's done. Okay, now I'll try to down XCAT. Dump backup. That's creating backup now. Earlier we faced problem, but now it's going well. Oh, I don't know. Okay, anyway, we'll see it later. Remaining everything back up. Very well. Okay, I'll try to back up once again in another directory. Back up one. We'll check whether we will face the same problem. Mm, communication is actually has been entered permanently. Time error, type error, warning, good server. Unexpected connect. Uh, IP table is this. I don't know what is the problem with this. Try to start console problem. 